welcome back to a new video in today's video i've got some madame glam gel polishes as usual because they are ace i've got some really nice autumn colors um i've got casino sunstalker uh we are on a break and what's that other one that i can't see ballerina there we go so we've got four colors and we've got these gorgeous water decals from Nail Sugar. Oh, I love them. You can get 10% off these using my code NATMUG10. Also, these leaves are from Nail Sugar too, but we don't end up using those. I thought I'd get them out just in case. And um, you can also get 30% off any Madame Glam gel polishes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. Using my code NATMUG30. So we're going to start by applying one coat of ballerina to all five nails. I actually only end up doing four because they're all very kind of similar. So carry on over the, the, the nails, uh, one coat, cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds and then pop on a second coat of ballerina and then cure for 30 seconds again. Then I've got on my palette here a dollop of each of the other colours that I dug out and I saw a set the, uh, it, this isn't exact. This isn't the same. It's not a recreation. It is kind of similar. Um, I think the name of the set that I saw or the account was HN Honey Nails. I think um, there's uh, yes, it's kind of similar to theirs. So I I will just mention them because I don't want to get told off. Um, so basically, all I'm doing is I can't remember theirs to be honest. I just remember they had like. Barbed, almost, it was like barbed wiry. I think theirs were more Halloween-y than mine. Mine are more autumn-y. But what I'm doing is I'm just making random shapes on the nail with the three different colours that I've got. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. What, what else can I say? Making random shapes. I really like this colour, by the way, the one that I've just put on. It's really nice. Very good. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to do another shape with another colour. So this is the darker brown. This one is called... Forgotten. It's not called Forgotten. I have forgotten what it's called. Um, we're on a break, I think. Anyway, this is going to be a rectangular shape. And notice that I have kind of got the shapes like overlapping, sort of a little bit overlapping there. And you can do like different shapes. You don't have to all do, you don't have to do rectangles and triangles and whatever. You can do squares and circles and, you know, different shapes. Mix it up a little bit. This is the boring bit because I'm just filling this in. If you've got a gel brush, you could probably fill it in with that. I just wanted to use up the gel polish that was on my palette. So I'm actually using my brush to do that. Um, you could even probably use the bottle brush, actually. That would probably do it. Just make sure you don't go out of the line. The most annoying thing was trying to make the edges nice and neat. And the corners. The corners were quite difficult. So I do end up faffing for quite some time. Also, the nails taper in. So I had to make sure that the... You know, that everything was straight because it's a bit, yeah. Anyway, pop that in the lamp. So I'm going to do something similar on all of the other nails. So we've now got, look, lots of different shapes and lines and whatever. Whatevs, yeah? Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> and then we're going to take our decals. Now, I have lost my little tiny scissors. So I'm having to use my great big giant craft scissors. I had to make sure I didn't cut everything. Oh, was, I tell you what, it was just... Oh, oh, that came out of nowhere. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and fit a decal in all the gaps. So I'm going to show you with this one. This is... I can't remember what these decals are called. Autumn something. I don't know. Um, but I've cut... Oh, because I can't find my lint roller. Uh, actually, I know where it is. It's fallen down the back of my, my drawers, but I couldn't get it. So I'm just going to clean that off with a bit of tape. Pop the decal upside down on your stamper and then just dab water on the back of it i have cut off the excess around the decal because you don't need all that on there and then what's going to happen is once you've dampened it dampened it dampened it dampened it um what's going to happen is the back end is going to slide off i'm just going to dab it with my finger to get the water off and then i'm going to stamp it oh what happened then that was weird stamp it onto the nail Ta-da! And then I'm going to literally put... Oh, by the way, this one went really weird. It, like, didn't want to go on properly. And then I had to, like, rescue it. 
this has never ever happened before but i rescued it and all was good and they lived happily ever after and it was brilliant um so yeah what have I, what am i doing here what am i doing here why have i not rec what have I not edited this bit right? I don't... Oh, I know what I was doing. I was snipping off the excess bit of decal. It's because the recording box is in the way. So basically, anywhere I could find a little gap, I would put a little decal from this gorgeous sheet of decals because they're super autumn-y. Someone said to me, can I do some more autumn nails? Of course I can. We've got lots of autumn left. So here is an autumn one, especially for you. I can't remember who it was. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we're going to add just add loads of these like little autumn flowers all over the place and i mean i wasn't sure how this was going to turn out at first and i was like oh is this going to be a mess i'm like what am i doing does it all right or does it look crazy mm, let's just go well you know what let's live a little bit crazy and um, we're going to go over with velvet matte top coat so we're not going that crazy because i always like a bit of velvet matte top coat um i'm going to do this over all of the nails if you prefer glossy please use their no wipe top coat because that is super gorgeous and it's obviously not matte so again it's personal preference i'm sorry i use velvet matte top coat all the time i just love it i love it and then finally we're on the last nail and then i mean you could leave it like this however i kind of liked the next bit i like the next bit make sure you've just cov you've covered everywhere because sometimes i miss the side walls but once you're happy pop it in the lamp 30 seconds ready for this they look kind of cool already don't they i'm kind of liking them i honestly i wasn't sure at first i was like oh should i just grab this anyway right look madam glam's gel paint on the go there get your nice fine detailer brush and um, people keep asking me where my detailer brush is from it was the nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush it's no longer available um so i can't tell you where to get one from now um I literally love this one so much <laughs> but oh yeah what we're doing we're adding some little stitches so imagine like what do you call it you know like those tatty teddy bears I, some people the the the, 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 the the design that i saw i thought they were going for more like barbed wire i wasn't sure but if you put like little crosses instead of the little lines it looks a bit more like barbed wire i don't want barbed wire I want just nice stitches so it kind of looks like someone is making their own duvet or their own throw or you know some people buy fat quarters and make their own quilts is that what they're called do you know what i mean but yeah just we're going for a, a little bit of make it look like fabric <laughs> i am on one today i don't know what's up with me so you're basically going to want to do this around all of those like color blocked shapes that we've put on and then shove it in the lamp the gel paints need 60 seconds because they're thicker and more opaque and we're going to do the rest on all the nails and this is them i actually really 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 like these now i wasn't sure at first but i really like them but i hope you did too if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free and you can always change your mind later though i'd rather you stayed madam glam and nail sugars website and the discount codes will be below yeah god bless and i'll see you all in the next one love you bye